Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to this clean code in C-sharp series. In this first episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about the importance of writing clean code and why it matters to write clean code. Uh, and then in the upcoming videos, we are going to, you know, go over the techniques and the uh, different uh, methods of uh, writing clean code in C-sharp. The ideas that we are going to cover in this series mostly apply to other languages but uh, I have decided to use C sharp to talk about these principles and I'm gonna you know spend most of my time here in VS Visual Studio 2022 other editors or other languages you know can be used and the ideas uh, that uh, you know uh, we are going to talk about in this series are much more important than uh, our programming language or our editor. Anyway, I have decided to you know uh, use C Sharp or and uh, uh, Visual Studio. If I want to you know define clean code uh, in a nutshell, clean code means a code which is more understandable both for the original programmer who wrote the code in the first place and the future programmers who are probably going to maintain that code and you know make changes as uh, you know the requirements arise remember uh, just because you know your code uh, is understood by the compiler and your end user is happy with your application doesn't mean that that code is clean uh, you have to write code in a way that is, you know, understandable for yourself as the programmer and for the other programmers who will be working with your code in the future. So as Robert Martin, as uh, uh, Martin Fowler once said, uh, every fool, I think, or every idiot can write code that a computer can understand. A good programmer writes code that a human can understand. So whenever you want to write clean code, you have to uh, take uh, the next programmer into consideration. You have to write your code like you care about it. And uh, when you do this, when you, you know, apply the techniques that we are going to talk about, uh, making change in your code uh, would be much more easier because it is more, you know, understandable. And also clean code is, is a, you know, kind of code that the box cannot hide uh, in that code. You know, it is, it is easy to spot a box and to eradicate them. When you come across a piece of code that you need to, you know, change or refactor, even if you were the original author of that code, you need to make yourself familiar with that piece of code in order to be able to, you know, make changes. Now, suppose another person, another programmer, wants to make changes to your code and if that code is not clean uh, you know making changes would be would be a nightmare so it is very important to write clean code in the first place even if even if uh, you are 100 percent sure that in the future you will not make any changes to that piece of code again it is important to make it clean because when you write clean code it is it is you know more understandable as you are writing it so these are, you know, some of the uh, things I wanted to tell you about clean code. And in, in this, you know, series, we are going to spend all of our time in Visual Studio. I have not, you know, uh, prepared any slides for this code, for, for this course. And there are some concepts and techniques that I will talk about as we go along throughout the series. Uh, and, you know, whenever I want to uh, talk about a technique, I will, uh, I will probably talk about the different concepts that are out there that, you know, you need to know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this first episode. I, I am, you know, hopeful that I have, uh, uh, your, I have whetted your appetite and you are eager to follow the course by watching the uh, videos. And I'm sure that if you, if you watch them, if you, you know, have a kind of a, uh, you know, a can-do attitude. And if you, of course, get your hands dirty and code with me and make changes to uh, the code that we are, you know, working on. And if you apply the techniques that you uh, learn in this uh, series in your own day-to-day -day work, uh, before you know it, you will have these techniques in your skill set. And that would, be a, that would be a major step, you know, uh, forward in terms of your software development skills. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.